Oh, hey there, all you out in the world. Good morning. Hey. <laughs> I'm Stefan. I'm Katie. And together we are Trello Shop. Shop. We are a vintage furniture flipping business that travels the country full time, living in our RV. And obviously, you're joining us for, for breakfast. Um, it's kind of late, so lunch ish. Lunch ish. And um, one, of, one of the questions that we're getting presented with by people we know personally that know we're embarking on this journey of vintage hitting the road, um, and people on social media, uh, you know, are commenting saying, hey, you know, now that you live in an RV full time and you're literally taking your vintage business on the road full time, how are you gonna make that work? Like, how are you gonna paint your furniture? Uh, how are you gonna sell? Um, how are you gonna store your furniture is really the big one that we're getting. Um, and like, what are you doing with your personal items? How, we, what just all of the logistical questions that go along with this vintage business sitting the road, there's a whole lot of question marks to it. Yeah, and I think we've done a good job of, <laughs> in our previous videos, um, you know, in our RV tour video, um, link above. Link above, or um, maybe the, the initial video uh, link above that we made, kind of explaining what we're going to be doing. Uh, but I think the one thing that we missed was how, 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 because we're in it, we're doing it, we're showing how? the RV, we're we're, we're making mm. furniture flipping videos and doing estate sale videos so far. But uh, this is kind of the one thing that keeps coming back to us. So we're going to take the time today uh, to go through all that mm -hmm. and try to explain it to you guys. Yeah. So uh, if you haven't already subscribed, uh, please do so. Don't um, want to miss out on all of our adventures because, as we've mentioned, we're a vintage traveling business. We're bringing, you know, vintage is hitting the road right now with Trello Shop, and we are bringing vintage goods to you. So you want to make sure you follow along on our channel and subscribe to our channel. That way you see all of our adventures traveling the country, and you, you know, you might realize we're heading your way, and you want to hang out or pick up a piece and you always want to be in the know and in the loop with us here at Trello Shop. And in our videos too, um, you know, we'll flip something and then we'll post it for sale. So if you're interested or you're into vintage or you'd like it, mm -hmm. that's an opportunity for to find a legit refurbished, mm -hmm. you know, decent piece that, uh, you know, <laughs> we, more than decent, more than decent. <laughs> and, and we ship to the whole entire nation. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll always make sure you know how to buy from us any of the pieces that we have and um, always make sure you know how to support us here at Trello Shop. As always, links down below in all of our videos um, in the description for affiliate links, which we might make a small commission off of. Also links to Venmo and Buy Me a Coffee, which are awesome ways and to support please, us. please, please, somebody out there who's watching this, just give us like one donation to Buy Me a Coffee because that bad boy has been sitting at like zero and it really does help. It's like the driving force behind Katie and Trello Shop. And His cup is about empty. Just, just, just to know <laughs> that people out there are watching, even if it's a dollar, to say, hey, we are listening, like, good job. Just a dollar. You're pretty happy. <laughs> I know, I know. Stop. So, so um, yes, not just furniture videos, but we'll also have traveling videos, RV videos, uh, nature videos. Mm -hmm. You know, Katie might paint a piece of furniture and be, have a backdrop of the Rocky Mountains. You never know. That'd be awesome. So it's not just all about vintage. We're a blended channel. It's a niche, you know, RV life, vintage furniture, flipping, all that stuff. So on to the questions, right? Cut right. Cut to the chase. Cut to the chase. <laughs> uh, Stefan, how are we going to sell on the road? I'm glad you asked that question, Katie. Are you? How are we going to sell on the road? How are we going to sell on the road? So, uh, Katie and I bought a 2004 Coachman Aurora Class A. Mm -hmm. So, um, what does that mean? That means it, it you drive it on the inside. You don't tow it. It's not a fifth wheel which you tow behind a truck. It's one entity where we live in and drive. And it has this home. <laughs> and it has storage, big storage bays up and under that we just a lot of storage. Um, so obviously, we are planning on opening up an eBay store, which we've kind of already done, uh, and we'll get to that. And we're also opening up um, an Etsy store. So that's how we're going to sell online while we're on the road, is through those, and, and Facebook Marketplace. And 
and through Cherish. And through Cherish. Basically, um, I think the point is, like, we are planning on maximizing our online selling potential. So any in which way we're planning on cross-posting items between sites, uh, always with the disclaimer that items are cross-posted, um, through every opportunity we can, be it eBay, Etsy, Cherish, Facebook Marketplace. If you see something in our video here and now, comment and let us know. We're really flexible in that we want to make sure that our items are always available. So if you see something on Instagram, comment, let us know, get in touch. Um, any opportunity to you know, bring vintage into your home, we wanna make that possible. So um, we're setting up the eBay and Etsy and Cherish accounts. We're already selling on Facebook Marketplace, um, which actually, like that's working for us we've had some cool sales go on through there um, but maximizing our online potential and selling but what else and so um, you know with there being storage bays up and under the RV obviously with all of our personal stuff I mean there's only so much storage you can have and if we're selling a lot online we're gonna need more and so Katie and I um, have been researching and trying to locate uh, a Sprinter van um, that we can take along with us. Yes. Yes. But uh, we're not done with the question of like, well, what else are we doing to sell on the road? Like that's oh. our, that's what we're focusing oh, on. Oh, sorry. Stay focused. Yeah, stay, stay with focused, me. focused. Need more coffee? Uh, buy me a coffee. <laughs> um, well, so, Stefan, so, here. So, so, you got I, it? I, I remember. I you remember. got it? I got it. Okay. Um, one thing that we're doing, obviously, um, I'm, I'm having surgery uh, September 8th. Um, so the month of September, I might be down and out. Um, and then the holidays are coming, so we're trying to stay local with family. But after that, God willing, come January 1st, January 1st, um, we're truly going to be uh, starting to travel on the road. What's happening? Vintage, Vintage hits, hits the, the road. road! And so... Uh, we talked about it, and I guess around the country there, there's circuits, and here in Florida there's vintage circuits that start, you know, in September, Yeah, October. I mean, all throughout the country there's um, giant antique shows and festivals and, you know, maker's markets, and vintage is celebrated ev all over. And um, so we're planning, come January 1st, to uh, take Trello Shop on tour. Vintage Hits the Road is, I think, the name of our, like, our show, right? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> kind of running with it and uh, we're gonna travel and sell at these different shows and, and and focus on being able to okay yeah we're selling online but we're also bringing vintage in person mm -hmm. um, doing some pop-up shops um, through small towns that we're visiting and selling at markets and shows um, throughout the country as we're traveling we're kind of I think gearing our route around some of these things making sure that we're making smart travel plans right. that so we can have maximum selling potential and um, of course lots of adventures along the way too. Yeah. 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 And, and also to having a, a sprinter van that we can, you know, leave this huge RV in place wherever we are at whatever RV park and use the sprinter van to go and uh, pick up a piece of furniture we find that we want to buy or make you know, local deliveries wherever we are, and also use that as storage uh, along the, the van's uh, side of the wall. Because uh, currently, we have been using um, our little four-door Toyota Corolla, Corolla um, and for a long time now, uh, we've needed uh, a van. But you know what? It's done its job. It's been my little truck. Like, those back seats hold down. It's been fantastic for me. Like, um, it's it's been a good good little car for us but we are moving on to bigger better things and that includes uh, a more suitable vehicle we have a lot of specific needs with our business and with traveling storage so that kind of leads to that next question of what do you do with all your items when you're traveling how do you store your stuff where do you work on your stuff well how does that go well um, in our RV tour video we showcased um, Katie's uh, Quest pop-up tent. Our canopy tent. Our cana uh, uh, canopy tent. Uh, Quest canopy tent. Uh, affiliate links below. Um, and so wherever we are, Katie can just pop that tent up and she can work outdoors and paint and sand and whatever she needs to do. Um, 
And as far as storage goes... Hold on, we're not done. Oh, we're not done? Okay. Well, also, because you're talking about working on projects, uh -huh. but part of RV life is having to be flexible, yeah. right? Yeah. And we're learning that even being stationed here for a few months in one place, RV life requires you to be flexible and you have to adapt to things whatever situation is going on. So that also means sometimes working on projects here in the RV. We've even lately been dealing with monsooning weather, um, construction guys working on area campsites and lawn guys yeah, and just so many different things that we have to bring stuff inside. Yeah. And um, so we're gonna be working also along with the canopy tent also inside the RV and also need be inside the Sprinter van. Mm -hmm. So that that Sprinter van is our in-town transportation for yep. when we're traveling through little towns. It is our um, storage for our big items, for boxes of little items, but it's also a workshop space. You know, need be, we can pull items out of there and work inside that. So it's it's really a, a triple threat heavy yeah. hitter for us yeah. and totally necessary. And of the Mercedes Sprinter vans, um, the Dodge Sprinter vans. Um, Ford Transits. And the Ford Transits, uh, we feel the, the Nissan Sprinter vans, um, they may not aesthetically look the, the best. I think they're cute. She thinks they're th cute, uh, but it has the most uh, space um, that we've seen so far as like far as so ceiling height and, and width. Um, so those those are the Sprinter vans that we're mm -hmm. trying to look at to find a good one uh, mm -hmm. to purchase. And we'll be doing that here soon in the next like month-ish or so um, after his surgery probably. We'll yeah. get that taken care of. Um, mm -hmm. Also, I'll, in regards to the Sprinter van, let's just cover this while we're chit-chatting about it. Um, the Sprinter van is a vehicle that we're going to have to um, drive separately when it's all fully loaded with vehicles. It's not something we can tow here yeah, on you, the RV. You can't flat so, tow it or... Um... So Stefan will be driving the RV and I will be right behind in the Sprinter van, um, or Sprinter style van. Um, that's not ideal, but most people aren't traveling the way we are or bringing you know, their business on the road the way that we are. So for now, I think that's the best solution we've come up with. And it's, you know, a sacrifice mm -hmm. we're making for our business is being able to maximize our, our storage and our goods. It's worth it to us to, to, to do that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. it's not like you're going to go down, you know, 4th Street somewhere in Tennessee, just an example, in a 36 foot by, you know, nine, eight foot wide RV and pick up a hutch. <laughs> yeah, like we want to be able to, you know, pick stuff, um, go buy and pick stuff, stuff up. And we want to be able to deliver things. And um, having that is going to make a world of difference. And, and I don't mind, I'm a little nervous to drive a big old van, but um, I'll get used to it. It'll be fine. I'll put a like little hula girl on the dash and we'll just roll along through it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we've talked about um, like where we're selling and how we're going to, you know, um, store things um, and work and stuff. Um, what is, what, what do you, I saw a thought. Well, I don't want them, you know, to get the impression that like, we have a bucket of money that like, even though Trailer Shop is taking vintage on the road, like we're still working to oh, bring in an income, you know? Oh, heck yeah. So yeah. Th this has all been super, it looks easy and glamorous, right? Like, oh, a new YouTube video every week and probably like that's all we do is like sit here for 10 minutes, film, and then pop it out to you. But I think Stefan and I have been like, oh, we've been burning the midnight oil, yeah. being busy between like selling locally. We've been using this time to close out and tidy up loose ends in our personal lives. There's some major projects that we're pulling together to finish up. And um, so selling locally, doing that, filming and editing, um, we haven't even made over the RV yet, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. There's so many things that we're trying to do, still yeah. while being healthy, eating and cooking at home, getting in some exercise. So exercise, yeah. Uh, so, so I just don't want you out there in the world to get the impression that like, you know, we have a YouTube video and like, we've got a, we've, we've got a bucket of money no. and like, you know, we're buying a Sprinter van, we bought an RV and These like, These are important you know, things for, for business. Yeah, like, they're yeah. investments we're making in our business yeah. and in ourselves. Yeah. They're smart purchases mm -hmm. and I think we're financially responsible with the, yeah. with the things that we're working on. So, so when I like, you know, throw in a plug of like, you know, buy me a coffee or you can support us through, you know, a donation through Venmo, <laughs> like, 
it really does make a difference. Make a difference because you know we're not like millionaires. Like we are striving to to to, to work hard and deliver you guys. And, good and right content. now we're we're still in that like new business dip. Even though like we've been selling for a, a while, um, we've been selling since I've been selling since like 20, 2014. Um, with the way we're changing the business and moving like we have a a lot of money to recoup and we were still in that like yeah. negative little deficit you know mm -hmm. we're um we also don't know yet as much as like we plan and prepare um for and the you future form your business model you yes know? but um until you're actually in it and until we're actually traveling it's hard to budget you know um you be smart you plan mm -hmm. ahead and you try to account for all those little extras but um I know it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be tight, it's gonna be rough, but we're determined to get through it. And I know with help from people who support us and care about us, um, we'll be able to get through it. And so that's why I call all of you guys our Trello Shop supporters, because you're more than just like a number and a subscriber to us. Like subscribers will get us to a place where we're monetized, but supporters, like you help us be able to do this. And it means so much to both of us yeah. that we're able to follow our dreams and, and do something like this. Like for, for you, I know you've always dreamed of like, you know, figuring out YouTube. And for me, it's been the vintage stuff. And together we both bring, you know, these awesome, you know, bits to the table and mm -hmm. we're able to together do this yeah. and um so we're not your help yeah we're not like you're not definitely looking for handouts and and letting you guys know that like we are ambitious and we are working hard but truly like any support you give monetarily to us it, it really helps. is going to help because we're not we don't have a bucket of money and you know we're, we're striving to work hard and we're and, and hopefully through our videos you can see that so we're not just asking for like handouts um or that we've got like unlimited resources. So I just want to let that be known. Yeah, yeah. so um, moving on to our next probably question uh, for figuring out life in the RV. Logistics. also talk about um, going live, like having a... You know. Yeah, that is something that we're going to be doing too is, um, excuse me, we're gonna be going live every week. Um, that's part of our plan for maximizing our selling output. Is, and also um, too, trying to grow our channel, you know? Yeah, well, um, but we want to be able to like show off all of our items and have it like an easy selling platform for everyone. Um, so the live, I think, is a great way to do that. Also, uh, filming is fun and videos are fun. I like to talk a lot and you don't know the struggle it has been for this one to try and edit it things in a way that makes sense. Um, <laughs> I want to be able to like share a full story. I want to be able to share all the little bits and details of things. Um, and in a live, I feel that takes the pressure away. Um, we'll be able, I'll be able to do that a lot easier because right now um, it's been either like the language becomes like disjointed or, um, you know, or I'm just trying to be quiet because I don't want the, the editing to be too difficult. Like we're learning all these things. Every video we put out, we learn big things to mm -hmm. help the next one. And um, so one of those learning moments is, Katie, go get live, <laughs> save yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut your mouth. Cause you know, we're trying to keep the videos entertaining in under 15, 16 minutes. Mm -hmm. And there's so much more information she was dying and would love to give you guys, but trying to make it into something that's entertaining uh, and, and like mm -hmm. YouTube, you know, And in the specific. future, I'm sure we'll be able to like, as we figure out filming and the process of what we're doing in front of the camera, speech will come easier. You know, it'll mm -hmm. be able to like get our thoughts out more clearly and to the point. Yeah. Um, but it's something that we're working on. We're thinking all of all those things as they come. So we'll get there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. But I think that pretty much covers all that we're wanting to share. Um, I'm hoping that covers what we're wanting to share. We, we really just want to be able to shed some light on these things. Um, people keep asking and they're saying, oh, we're so excited to figure out what you're doing. And we, oh, well, how are you doing this? And so then it dawned on us the other day, um, someone specifically listed all these questions and um, like, oh, we haven't been clear on that. Like, we're just going along because we know the plan. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like we oh know yeah, the plan, we know what's going on. We oh, haven't explained it to the obviously, world. Obviously this, this and this, but we haven't sat down and actually explained it. And some of these things might change. Uh, we're staying flexible, but for now, like those are the the key, you know, points we're working off of. And I think that'll really help us to 
accomplish all we're setting out to do, which is taking vintage on the road. Mm -hmm. And in a future video, um, you know, we're going to highlight to you guys, you know, our, our Etsy store, our eBay store, Facebook marketplace we'll store, and Cherish store. Mm -hmm. So that, that'll be the, the next video um, so that you can see, you know, our online stores and know that that'll be available and we'll start to post those uh, in the description below. Um, mm -hmm. And also too, Katie has started a blog. Um, so that's another cool way to get more insider info and actually read up yeah. a little bit more detail on, uh, you know, our videos or our daily lives or... I there's... like to type how I chat. <laughs> so let's get a cup of coffee, sit down, yep. hang out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good fun. So we really hope that this answered, um, you know, like we did a good job of answering those those points yeah. and um, makes a little bit more sense to you guys out there in the world. And um, yeah, yeah, I think that's it's good. I, I hope I hope. All right. Mission accomplished. If you have any other questions or we did miss something, um, just by all means, please leave a comment down below. Ask yeah, us. totally. Please don't, leave oh, a comment. We don't think of things always until you guys mention something. So you sharing like, okay, well, yes, you mentioned X, Y, and Z, but like, what about this other part? How does that work? Yeah. Uh, ask us. We're kind of open books for the most part. So yeah. we're- And we'll get back to you guys in a, to a timely response. No secrets here, yeah. you know? Oh, no, really? <laughs> uh -uh. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, and, and like of all the videos we've made, we're super open, we're super casual, and like we've totally asked people to like leave a comment, and we've had like, this will be I think our seventh video, and we've had one person leave one comment. No, that's not true. Or no, hold no? on, no, you're just thinking the most recent one. We've oh. had a few. We've had we've had several. a few. So we've had several. all I'm saying is that you know. But it means a lot. It means a it, lot, and it helps us to to get feedback from the world, like she said. So if we miss something, or it's still fuzzy and doesn't make sense. <laughs> Please yeah. let us know, reach out and communicate to us because we won't know. Mm -hmm. We love to receive positive criticism. Yeah, positive criticisms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To help us grow. Or just questions in general. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, well, till okay. next time. All right, well then. Uh, Signing out. We'll see you guys in the next one. Over and out. Bye. Bye bye. Enjoy your morning, enjoy your day. Stay cool, you cat and kittens. I love to brush. I love to paint. Just we need an end point. Yeah. Smile. Just there. I do. <laughs> All right. Okay. Good to go. Turn it off. Okay. I'm going to turn this off.